So I've came back to Thailand. Sorry, that's my fantasy. I came back to Israel and I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> uh, I'll be coming back to uh, Europe soon and also hopefully to Thailand uh, for at least a couple of months because uh, I really want to start living there uh, this time. And what I want to talk about today is dying before you're dead. Not just dying physically, that's not the, um, the meaning behind it, but the meaning is dying metaphorically, meaning dying in terms of a self-image, in terms of uh, who you think you are, and basically just being without the extra baggage of a self-image of who you are supposed to be and who you're not. The way I currently uh, handle my life is I just go moment to moment. I plan things uh, like anyone else, but I don't have uh, that thought stream that says, wait, right now I should be here, or I should be there, or I should not be doing this. Instead, the way my thought stream works is I mostly use thinking to plan things when things need to be planned and other than that I usually drop thinking entirely. Uh, this happened as a result of all the bad things that happened to me basically as you know good things were happening my ego was growing and growing and growing and then some inner calling in me uh, made me do things that fucked it up and then BAM I crashed and then I rose up again and the self-esteem came back and then BAM I crashed myself again and this cycle had to keep repeating until I could completely um, detach the self-esteem and the whole thinking habit <laughs> from my uh, being, from my experience of life and the moment that that happened actually that's when things started working that's when um, everything was just the same but not really <laughs> that's when I sort of sort of started seeing the truest part of my personality come out um, without the extra baggage imagine for example uh, for me my biggest passion is coaching people I love to coach people but when you add to that like the baggage of oh I need to be this kind of coach I need to make this much money stuff like that um, again it gets entangled it basically um, corrodes it to some level or or changes it in a bad way without the baggage um, you don't get um, that thing that people think is good which is you know having to do something so you no longer can motivate yourself by having to do something and ruining your body and your your emotions to do it again because that's the what self-image says but on the other hand you also don't have the part where you lose motivation you give up you feel bad because you didn't get what you want so you just get even keeled and everything comes from the heart so all my videos from the heart you know all my creation from the heart and I talked a lot in the past about consistency and about uh, consistent growth that if you don't have it if you just grow and then you crash you're never gonna get anywhere um, because growing back up takes the even twice as much effort after you've crashed as just growing continually um, so I don't at least I'm not gonna create any more crashes for myself because again my self-esteem is not tied up to my life or my business so this is relating to relationships to the business and to all other areas of life 
um, meaning that um, you know obviously business could be better it could be worse stuff could happen but most of the shit that happens in business that goes wrong it happens it's almost you could say um, self-created and it's self-created by bad decisions that were made because of uh, because self-esteem and, and emotions like saying oh you have to have this you have to do this you mustn't do that uh, this person can't treat you like this uh, this is the way it's done all basically based in ego and when you take all these away you just get okay I'm this is what I do and I like it but you take out the compulsive part of it and again your life just becomes smooth so so there's this moment and there's the next moment and the next moment but everything just flows and there's not like highs and lows and highs and lows uh, just sort of even keel um, and I believe that's really kind of the secret and the most obviously first of all the most precious thing that happened to me was this because uh, stillness and peace is what most people are looking for eventually at the end of the day uh, even though they go about it the exact opposite way uh, but the, the cool thing is that the exact opposite way basically suffering and doing things that are not gonna give you peace if you do that enough and to a high enough degree uh, you could break your mind <laughs> where you suffer so much you have to disidentify with thinking and then it happens uh, naturally so the message of this video is this wherever you are currently in life uh, whether you have what you want or you don't have what you want take your self-image uh, out of it so instead of saying I should have this I should not have this uh, I should be making more money I should uh, this is how much I should make because I'm this good whatever your self-esteem uh, currently tells you where you think you are um, cut it off basically cut it out completely so if you're currently broke with your parents uh, that's just where you are just don't you can factually say yes I'm broke with my parents but not like I deserve this I'm better than this again not I'm better I sh shouldn't be here and not I'm shit so I should be here completely um, disengage from that sort of thinking and just be where you are and then work from there so again you have a amazing business situation it's not because you are amazing and you're so perfect it's perfect because if you think like that then when the business crashes or something happens that self-esteem will basically be destroyed or threatened and that will give you massive amounts of pain and then you'll go to bad lengths to to make it not happen to make sure that you don't destroy your self-esteem by destroying the business um, which will create even more trouble and see this is why I hate Israel by the way cars are shit crampy <laughs> there are good parts though but just the city parts um, so again when you're in a good situation relate, relating to the self-esteem will create a lot of trouble uh, either you'll uh, kill yourself in trying to maintain it or uh, you'll go crazy if you lose it and you'll suffer uh, on the opposite end if you don't have what you want and your self-esteem again is tied to that um, either again you'll you'll kill yourself to get it but you're just not gonna make it happen or even if you do you'll still be sad because then you'll be you know the first scenario or your self-esteem is saying you don't deserve it and then you'll do anything to not get out of that situation uh, which again is crazy because life always changes everything constantly changes so just be where you are and then if you want to get someplace if you really want to get there not just in terms of self-esteem but you're actually inspired to get somewhere then it will happen naturally uh, and you're not going to get in the way or you're not going to hijack the process and make it into an ego thing as a growth mechanism um, and again the same the exact uh, thing for the opposite thing um, if you're not supposed to be there you're not gonna try to be there forcefully meaning that you're not gonna you know people when they start something because they should or they must then they usually don't keep at it because when the self-esteem changes then they just don't want to do it anymore uh, fuck self-esteem uh, die before you die and this is how you live a peaceful happy and most likely a very successful life talk soon
really cool things coming up. Be ready for that and share the video with your friends.